dam in the uh, historic Sioux Canal and lock system. Got the whole thing to myself. Maybe the first time that they've had a uh, Hobie Trimoran in the lock. You can see the big gates closing there. This thing was originally built uh, in 1889, I believe, to get the big ships through. Now it's just uh, pretty strictly for pleasure craft. For now, I'll just eat uh, some tasty chips. This bridge you see here is the International Bridge from Sault Ste. Marie, Ontario to Sault Ste. Marie, Michigan. Got a nice little light breeze here that's blowing me past Lake Superior Power Incorporated. I find there's something so beautiful with wind turbines. And same with the sail, especially when there's wind and it's uh, it's working well. Look at those, aren't those beautiful? So for the longest time, people have been warning me about Lake Superior, about how cold it is, about how rough it is, how ships have been sunk, how it's nuts to canoe in it, and how I'm just crazy for even attempting. And uh, I've been telling them that I know people who have done it and that it's possible and that you, know, you can just duck out of the bad weather when you have to. Maybe it won't show its gnarly side to me at all. Maybe it will. Let's find out. So I just had a lovely night with uh, Peter and Jana Schwartz uh, just on Sunnyside Beach, just in the opening to Lake Superior. And listen to Peter, who's a pretty hardcore kite surfer slash uh, windsurfer consistently warn me about how gnarly Lake Superior can get and how right about where I am now is where the Edmund, Edmund J. Fitzgerald sunk. Went down in a big storm, took on too much water and I think it broke in half and sunk. 10 to 20 times when I was hearing, uh, you know, stories of people having really gnarly bad experiences on the lake, whether it was in a canoe or a kayak or uh, or even on uh, windsurfer sailboats or giant ships. So I'm a bit nervous to tell you the truth. Probably would have felt more comfortable not hearing hearing all about that, but it's always good to you know keep me keep me on guard. Um, apparently the wind can change really fast. Weather can change really fast on this lake. You pick up and you can be in a bad spot in a couple hours. Thankfully I'm in a boat that uh, can get wet and hopefully. Uh, won't fall apart. It's a bit plasticky and a lot of bungee cords holding stuff together, so that's not super comforting. Uh, sailing downwind on uh, Lake Superior. It's uh, pretty sweet. Nose of my boat pretty much uh, just eats up water. And I'm sitting in a puddle of water. And every wave pretty much, uh, I can steer it a little bit so there's less water coming over the bow, but most of the time I'm getting quite a bit. Well, I'm a bit nervous. Uh, even though this is pretty much the conditions that I want, it's like absolutely perfect. I uh, still just feel like I'm on a bit of a plastic uh, life preserver. I'm just sitting in the water so it just seems like I'm very close to it and I could easily be swimming. But I'm cruising along at about four to five knots, seven to eight kilometers an hour. Just, uh, taking a bit of a risk making this hop just because uh, there were some islands back there that I could have camped out on, sandy islands. They look quite nice actually, but I figure if I could make it over here in time, then uh, it'd just be good to take advantage of this wind. Um, I wasn't sure if the wind was going to stick around, and it has, so I'm making good time. So I should have a good uh, spot to sleep tonight, hopefully in a bay. Right there, if you want a little bit more shelter from the wind. Crazy, gnarly, super windy, big wavy Lake Superior. 
it's glassy and it's foggy and I have pretty much zero visibility. Um, I think I can see about 50 to 100 feet right now and it's been like this all morning. Does anybody know where I am? Help! Help! Another day on the extremely wild and gnarly Lake Superior. I could use a little bit of wind, just a little, just a tiny bit. This is what a lot of uh, the Lake Superior shore has looked like. Quite a bit of rocks with lichens on them and pine forest behind. Every once in a while there's the uh, pebble beach or even some sandy beaches. Most of them are pretty rocky beaches though. And what we're looking at right now is Lake Superior Provincial Park. I haven't seen anybody yet, not even a bear or a deer. Just me and some birds. Up towards the sun there is uh, Thunder Bay. And I don't know if Lake Superior has ever been this flat. It's been like this for the past three days. Can you hear that? I'm pretty sure I got more death warnings about Lake Superior than I did before crossing the Atlantic Ocean in a rowboat. There's been one afternoon where it might have been a little bit of sketchy in a canoe. I was still going downwind, but uh, I might have pulled to the shore earlier in the canoe, who knows. Uh, but uh, I'm not in a canoe, and I do have a sail. But instead, I'm pretty much being forced to pedal. It's okay, it's actually it's quite peaceful. I've been listening to music out here and enjoying myself. And it's hot and it's sunny and sure the water is a bit cold but hot and I'm wet not because of the water and the big waves but because of my sweat. It seems like every day there's at least once maybe two times where I think about what I'm doing and an overwhelming love comes over me realizing that I'm doing exactly what I want to be doing on the planet right now. And it makes me want to cry. I love this planet and I love superior here and I saw this guy in the water scooped him up he was probably gonna die drowned and now he's just washing his head off Coming into Mishapakotan Island after largest crossing of the trip yet. 50 plus kilometers across Gichigami or Lake Superior. Apparently this island is occupied by tons of caribou. Who knew? In the middle of the biggest lake of the Great Lakes that there was caribou on an island. 
it's been a long day. Lots of sailing, more pedaling. I'm looking forward to getting off this boat, getting out of this dry suit and going for a dip and then eating and then sleeping. Beautiful though, isn't it? Keep